Hi, my name is Ryan, and today you're going to be learning about audio tips. Here are some tips from professionals about what to do if you're only using your on-camera mic. When using your on-camera microphone, if that's all you have, there's a magic to being within five feet. Seems like that's the distance that the audio is going straight into the microphone and you're getting a minimum of reflections off the walls and the floor. Once you get beyond five feet, unless you have an exceedingly quiet room, it's really smart to use a plug-in mic. In an open space such as this, if you don't have a plug-in mic, you should move closer. Now that I'm closer, notice the difference in sound. However, these microphones aren't the best for most of your uh, audio needs. Um, they will pick up just as many things behind the camera as in front of the camera. So if you're in any sort of a noisy situation, a classroom or a cafeteria or outside, it's going to pick up everything around, not just what you're looking to shoot in front of the camera. If you're just using your camcorder for taping, no matter how far away you are, you can always remind the subject to speak up, speak loudly and clearly, enunciate. A whisperer is, always, is never going to come off as well as someone who articulates. Sometimes it's important to be at least 10 feet away from your subject. Here's what some professionals have to say about how to deal with this. You've got to use an external mic. External mic is going to make them sound like they're one foot away, and it's going to give you that crystal clear audio that locks your subject to the picture. Sometimes you'll have to shoot in a noisy environment. Here's some ways to reduce the amount of background noise. And this mic can be placed in front of them, and this will pick up very exact sound of the speaker. It will not pick up a lot of extraneous noise, so it's very good for noisy situations like cafeterias or outside. Oftentimes when shooting outdoors, wind can distort your sound. That's why it's important to take this advice when dealing with an outdoor shoot. When shooting outdoors, you've got to be really careful about wind, which means you've either got to shield the mic from the wind by putting a physical barrier in the way, like a person or get behind a brick wall, or even better, get a nice big puffy wind sock. It could be made of foam. They call them socks because they sometimes use big fluffy socks around the microphone, and that will be enough to shield the wind, to break the wind so that the mic doesn't pick it up. On a windy day such as this,